welcome back welcome back welcome back once again to another tutorial video this is presented to you by your auntie miss genevieve Onyeko. and this time we are looking at week eight work on basic science and technology for those of you in basic five and our topic sorry our theme is information technology and our topic is what computer and the society we are looking at the importance of computer in the society or the influences computer has gotten or brought to the society objectives objectives um, learning objectives as it is stated here by the end of this lesson you the learner should be able to tell various aspects computer has influenced the human society when they talk about influence they talk about how it has helped we have positive influence and we have negative influence but this time we are looking at the positive influence the good thing computer has brought or has done for us so let's look at the content to identify these good things computer has done or brought for us So this, when we talk about influence, like I said earlier, on, it is the positive thing, the good things computer has done for us. And we are looking at them one after the other. At this juncture, uh, at this particular aspect, you have to listen attentively because I didn't write them out. I feel explaining we go way deeper than writing it out to you. So they say the use of computer has greatly helped man, making his work in life easy, executing it enjoyable. Just like COVID nineteen came to strike us with some um, some mayhem, some kind of lockdown, shutdown, no schooling or such. But computer said, no, no. I think there is a way we can work this out. And yes. It made a way, which is which this approach we're using to learn right now, the online learning approach, whereby you can be at your home at any time you're free from house chores and all. You open your computer, go to the website, download your tutorials, close the website, up your data, and learn. We want to ask your teacher something. You can drop it at the comment section. And your teacher comes online, reads it, and reacts immediately. You see, these are ways computer has eased the stress in the society. But we are looking at many other ways computer has eased the stress or helped man in the society. Number one is communication. Communication. I repeat, communication. When we talk about communication, we talk about transferring information from one person to another person telling somebody something but when we are communicating before computer came we do write letters on paper then we send it as a way bill before days it gets to someone and that person writes back and send it before days now take for instance someone is ill you need money to go to the hospital else you will die in three days to come if you don't get this money and you use the old method where you write and send it takes days by the time that letter might have gotten to that person he died and by the time the person will be sending the money it's not money for burial funny right but that's what happens but computer has eased such that right now right now you can talk to you can talk to or with anybody around the world asap and you can get money as soon as a gp like us click of a hand of a hand like a click of a hand before the you say the word jack robinson you can get your money you see computer just eased communication approaches you see with the introduction of common telecommunication companies communication has been easier and faster using today's gadgets using today's gadgets such as the telephone your phone and a whole lot of other things, your laptop, your desktop, a whole lot of computer gadgets they use. Next is hospitality, number two. 
hospitality. Computer has helped in the easy online booking of hotel and airway res reservations. You want to book hotel or flight, you want to be any place you want to be with, you want them to keep something for you, you want them to keep uh, a space for you, a chance for you. Instead of you traveling down there and book, you come back and wait till you're ready. You can easily open your phone, go to their website and book simply at the convenience and at the comfort of your home. And this is just a, is an easy way of doing things. Next is banking. We do this. Transfer money. But you will go to bank to stand and wait for a long period of time on a queue. Right now you can be at your house, transfer, collect. Do you get it? Banking. Speedy transfer of money from one bank account to the other has been made possible using the computer system. So next is security. The use of computer has helped in the monitoring and prevention of crimes and protection of life and property. Say for instance, the CCTV camera placed here and there in certain developed places. They have cameras watching out. Should you do something, they will recognize you. And you don't want to be recognized for committing a crime, right? So why commit it when you know that there is something watching you? So that way, crime has reduced. Next is military. Military training, wars, and surveillance have been made possible through the use of what? Computer still and security. And next is what? Exploration and exploitation of natural resources. The oil and gas industries have enhanced their business greatly through the use of computer. Next is space exploration. This has been made possible through the use of computer like the landmarks in Holderton. Agriculture. Most of the equipment used in agriculture and agri-based industries are computer-based. And last but not least, which is medicine. With the use of computer, many ailments in parents can be disagreed and treated. Yes, some things we couldn't see using our old-fashioned way of diagnosis. We can use the computer who looks deep and way beyond and, and do myself in a vast developed country there are machines that can go into your body and fix your system yes they plant it like a chip in you and use the monitor the big money the big computer to uh, control that chip that goes in and does the healing yes that's how far computer has helped us in many other ways we've not mentioned here so that's it for this tutorial video. Play it on and on again so that you can understand better. And don't forget to do your assignments. And don't forget to stay safe and stay educated. Goodbye.